Hello there and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's vlog, I'm gonna teach you how are you going to use and install the CS scanner. And I'm gonna tell you um, how does this CS scanner help you in submitting all your outputs or documents whether in my subjects or in other subjects you have. But before that, don't ever forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to be updated for all the latest videos. Watch out! Thank you! So now we're back. This is the process. First, if you have, uh, if your phone is iPhone, go to your App Store and find the app which is, oh, let's read. Or if your phone is Android, just simply go to your Google Store, Play Store, that's Play Store pala tawag dyan. Then, um, search natin. Just simply search the word CS CS Scanner Ano yung harik yun? CS Scanner Pero sa case ko guys, naka-install na kasi ako. So, hanapin or search. Loading tayo. So, yan. This is this is how CS Scanner looks like. So, ang app na to is still available for for Android and iPhone. So, kunyari na-install na siya. So, we have to install it. So, install na. So, go now to your app. So, this is how it looks like. This is the CS Scanner. Click it. So, yan. Pero guys, if you're uh, if you're new to this app, so, meron pa yung demonstration but it's, it's really simple. So, itong gagawin natin. So, just, okay. Pindutin na itong button na to. Camera. It's okay. So, kunyari guys, uh, ito yung, for example, meron kayong assignment, then ito na yung output mo, then nahirapan ka because uh, mahina yung internet connection sa bahay, and it's really hard for you to to use your Google Classroom or Gmail. So, using this CS scanner, you can scan your document clearly, maging klaro yung mukha ng yung output, then uh, pwede mo siya i-convert into PDF or picture. But since yung gamit lang natin is uh, data, then Facebook. So, dapat yung format natin na gawin is uh, pang picture. So, kunyari yan. Scan ko na siya. Simply scan it. So, yan. So, napicture lang ko na siya, guys. Picture it. Try. So, that's it. Yan. Yan yung original na picture. Kunyari on to ha. Ng output na kunyari. Dahil gusto nyo maging readable siya, maging klaro siya sa paningin ng teacher nyo. Dahil nga, nahirapan kayo sa pag-send through email. So, it could really a big help to you guys. So, yan. Pindutin dito. So, yan. So, this will be the output si... No, ba Try to compare the the output of CS kasi kapag yung gamitin nyo is simply picture lang, medyo hindi siya readable plus um, mababawasan pa yung pixel niya pag sinenyo siya through, through messenger pero kapag yung CS is okay lang siya yan, klarong klaro so at least um, medyo okay naman sa teacher nyo then maganahan naman mag check yung teacher nyo kasi nga, uh, klaro siya at saka maganda yung output so pindutin lang dito pag sure na tayo pero pwede nyo pa yan i-crop kung gusto nyo so ayan so, so kailangan nyo pa siyang i-import so dito sa pag-import yan pwede siya pdf or pwede i-upload pwede i-print pwede sa fax but what you should do is to album i-save nyo sa album so ibig sabihin diretso yan sa inyong gallery okay so yan save na tingnan natin guys natin. Pati sa gallery natin. Gallery. Let's see kung nandito na siya. Mm -hmm. O, oh, ayan. It's already here in your gallery. So, i-zoom natin kung okay siya. So, yan guys. Klaro siya, di ba? So, ngayon, let's say, yung nagawa sa ng teacher nyo is essay. Then, ito na yung sagot mo or yung output mo or any activity na pen and paper siya. 
So ito yung gamitin natin, especially sa subject ko sa history. So I prefer this kasi mas friendly at saka madali siyang makita. So kunyari, oh, isesend mo ngayon sa, sa teacher mo. Kunyari si teacher mo is Jaime. Isesend nyo sa akin yung output kunyari. Kunyari kay teacher, sinong teacher? Kunyari mm, Kunyari si Si Russell Yan ang teacher niya kunyari So yan So since yan ang teacher niya kunyari So isa-send mo na lang siya no? Very simple yan, Send mo siya as uh, text or as picture So that's it So nasend na ngayon sa teacher niya So pwede niya nang i-check right away Whereas kapag Gmail yung gamit nyo, pwede yung mahina yung internet connection, hindi nyo masasend agad-agad. Whereas kapag ganito, kahit per data kayo guys, uh, you can still send your output to your teacher. So, ayan, ang dali-dali again. This is uh, CS Scanner. Ayan ang CS Scanner. So, ayan guys, uh, you have just watched the the tutorial how to install and use a scanner so again subject natin although may mga google meet tayo but most of the time you'll be submitting your output para kasi gusto kong maging madali sa inyo at saka hindi kayo mahirapan then hindi kayo makagasto hindi na kailangan magpa-load ng 50 or 100 you can simply use your free data to, to send yung picture na scan nyo so ang kinaganda ng si scanner na to is that kahit hindi high pixelated yung phone nyo or kahit mga simpleng phone lang so somehow medyo klaro naman yung output nyo kaya I, I recommend this scanner that uh, install this on your phone dahil ito yung magiging uh, tulay natin especially you in submitting all your documents easily kasi although we are <clears throat> in online I still consider your situation kasi hindi lahat sa inyo may signal kaya I prefer na gamitin nyo to siya na app the CS scanner you scan your output essay man yan or test or um, any kind of activity na ginagamitan ng papel at bow pen so except video you really have to send it kailangan ng data but for simply quiz, uh, essay, explanation, analysis, you can simply scan it and send it via or through my messenger. So I hope you, you've learned something from this video and I hope that this video could really help you para hindi kayo mahirapan to submit your output sa akin. Again, don't ever forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to be updated for all the next videos I have that could really help you. So, thank you for watching, goodbye everyone, and good night.